working on quality circles. We all know that Total Quality Management, TQM, has employee involvement as one of its basic tenets. In this lesson, we will discuss quality circle, process of QC circles and QC circle implementation. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss quality circles, explain the key elements of QC, classify benefits of QC, discuss roles and functions of QC, explain quality control process, describe QC circle techniques, describe QC implementation. Quality circles are voluntary groups of employees who work on similar tasks or share an area of responsibility. They agree to meet on a regular basis to discuss and solve problems related to work. They operate on the principle that employee participation in decision making and problem solving improves the quality of work. They focus on specific issues to resolve problems. They generally meet weekly to analyze work related problems and propose solutions to management and where possible implement those solutions. Members also tend to generate a mutual respect and trust as they work on solutions which is conducive for collaborating as a team. Characteristics of quality circles are It is voluntary groups of six to eight members. Quality circle teams are semi-permanent. Teams are from single functional department. Members have equal status and select their own project and minimum pressure to solve problems with a set time frame. The member of quality circle sets the rules and prioritizes or selects problems that will be approached and discussed by the team. Professional bodies like the Quality Circle Forum of India and Indian Association for Quality and Reliability had been formed to create an awareness of quality circle movement in India as early as in 1970s. The first national convention on quality circle was held in India in 1987. The key elements of quality circle are a people building philosophy. In quality circles, people know each other and there is a feeling of togetherness. Voluntary in nature, it is the worker's own initiative which makes him join the group. Participative nature, everyone in the group participates. Encourages creativity. Quality circle infuses among its members confidence, a problem preventing and problem solving attitude. Training is a must. Members need to be trained for using problem solving techniques like Pareto diagram, cause and effect analysis, check sheets, etc. Management support and problems related to work. Problems have to be related to members' own department or work area. Quality circles can be used in any organization, whether it is manufacturing, service, healthcare, education, etc. They can be used to increase productivity. As an example, members can develop ways to decrease lead times for products. They can be used to help improve quality of services as well as products. If there are issues, members can analyze the process and come up with solutions to make it better. This will improve quality and likely increase productivity as well. Establishing effective QC circles require considerable time and therefore a suitable organizational structure should be developed. Top management, being at the highest executive level, should extend all the necessary support to the activities of the QC circles. Next, Steering Committee. It is an apex body at the highest level of the unit or division which oversees the functioning of QC circles in the unit or division and serve as an advisory body. Activities of the steering committee are to take an overview of the operation of quality circles, to establish the program objectives and resources and to provide policy guidance and direction. Next is a facilitator. He is usually a manager or a senior manager of the department. He is responsible for building and directing the activities of the quality control circles 
in his area and enthuse other executives also to get involved in supporting quality circle activities. The various functions of facilitators are to attend quality circle meetings at least for brief periods and to assist the leader in the training of the members of the circles and reinforcing the leader's skill. Leader A leader is chosen by the members of a quality control circle among themselves and could be the natural hierarchical foreman, supervisor or charge hand or any other member. The various functions of leader are to train the members with the assistance of the facilitator to maintain a high degree of cohesiveness in his team. Next is members. Members of a quality control circle area, small group of five to eight persons from the same work area or doing similar type of work who voluntarily from a quality control circle. The various functions of members are to meet regularly, say, an hour in a week and actively participate in circle meetings and to assist the leader in data gathering, record keeping and interacting with other areas. Role of a coordinator is to coordinate the activities of quality control circles on behalf of the management and carry out such functions as would make the operation of quality control circles smoother, effective and self-sustained. The various functions of a coordinator is to convene steering committee meetings and circulate record notes thereof. Next, middle management. This group could be exposed to seminar and question and answer sessions on QC circles to ensure their understanding and support. The problems may sometimes be suggested by the management, but most of the times they are identified by the circle members themselves. They get the help and support from the facilitator as well as from the steering committee members if required. The quality control circles commonly use certain basic techniques in their functioning. They are brainstorming. It is usually a group activity although the principles can be practiced by an individual on his own. A group of people not only provide a wider range of experience but also ensure cross-fertilization of ideas. It has four main stages. First, stating the problem. Next, restating the problem. Next, brainstorming one or more of the restatements. And last, evaluating the ideas produced. Pareto analysis. It helps in the identification of the vital few from the trivia many at a glance when projected using a column graph named after Pareto. Cause and effect Ishiwaka diagram. It is an investigation tool. In an Ishikawa diagram, a systematic arrangement of all possible causes which gives rise to the effect are made. Before taking up a problem for a detailed study, it is necessary to list all the possible causes so that no important cause is missed. Check sheet. It is made to gather data easily and to make the same automatically translated into easy to use form. Histogram. It is a graphical representation of variations in measurement of any attribute of an entity. Dividing a group of measurements or observations into several groups on the basis of certain characteristics is called stratification. Control charts. The control chart by setting the upper and lower limits of deviations allows us to find out whether production is stabilized or not and to control the productive process. Success of QC circles requires a solid backing of executives on a continuous basis rather than merely accepting or permitting to introduce the circles. It becomes necessary to spend a great deal of time and have patience to achieve the involvement of workers. QC circles offer a strategy for changing the management culture slowly by involving employees in a constructive way. Quality circles require top management support. Personal characteristics of facilitators are critical. Scope of project needs to be small enough to be capably addressed by the team and success of other teams has positive peer pressure effect. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts 
discussed in this lesson clearly. Brainstorming does not have as one of its primary purposes the reduction of subjective decisions. Right or wrong? Right. Quality assurance focuses on improvements to design and to work process that eliminate error. Right or wrong? Right. A sample where each item in the population has an equal chance of being included in the sample is called a stratified sample. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. Quality circles are small groups within departments and sometimes across departments of an organization to solve problems related to quality and productivity. Facilitator is a semi-formal role that catalyzes development of quality circles in our organization. Steering committee is a committee consisting of top management and functional heads that oversee proper working of quality circles. Groups are facilitated by a structure consisting of steering committee, facilitators and a coordinator. Groups use various simple tools and techniques. In order to compete successfully in the emerging competitive market, an organization should always be concerned with its business strategy, processes and products. It has to continuously review these aspects to improve and sometimes re-engineer to bring them in line with its capabilities with market requirements.